Good evening from Expert Credit Suite. So tonight we're gonna to go over what letter you should send per account type, all right? So I have made a short video on this before, so I'm not going to make this long, but I did want to go a little bit more into detail and show you what I'm talking about. So we're looking at 609, 623, 1681, BOD, and unique disputes, okay? So here are your dispute letter types. 609, this is used for unknown accounts such as third-party collections. The 623 is to an original creditor. The VOD, which is validation of debt, is for collections. And 1681 is for requesting investigation of inaccurate accounts. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the 609 and that's versus unique disputes, okay? So on the left, you have the 609 template, okay? This is a template. And on the right, you have a unique dispute. Now, the difference between the two of them, and you can see this without me even clicking on either of these, is that the left one is super freaking long. It probably says a bunch of BS. And the one on the right is very short and to the point. And uh, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I sent, I showed you guys this before, but it just says account A, B, C. This is the reason, and that's it. You print it and you send it, okay? So with the 609, you're going to see that they're law heavy, and it says pursuant to section 609, Congress versus TransUnion, unless you all have no choice, okay? And then on the unique ones, it's, look, I'd like to see the paperwork I filled out and signed when this account was open. And if you recall, I've shown you guys, I'm um, using my screen, what the difference is, why you wanna use justifiers, and how easily you can implement the 609 into your unique dispute. And I just showed you right here. Do not send the law heavy pursuant to section 69, Congress versus the TransUnion, unless, all, unless you all have no choice type of disputes, okay? Simply state, look, Equifax, look, Experian, look, TransUnion, I need to see the freaking paperwork. It's as simple as that, okay? So when you're using the six, uh, 623, it's to the original creditor. And this is a template that you can just look up online all right, so use this when disputing with the original creditor, all right? So you're going to send this after disputing with the credit bureau because section 623 states that, yes, you can dispute with the original creditor, but after the account has already been disputed with the credit bureaus, okay? So nobody said that you have to first dispute with the bureaus and 30 days later dispute with the creditor, no. Dispute with the bureaus, three days later, send out your dispute to the original creditor, all right? And to find one of these templates, simply do a Google search on 623 dis uh, dispute template. It's as easy as that, okay? So I'm going to show you the difference when um, using 623 versus, you know, a bureau, you know, unique dispute, okay? So in the 623, this is a template and you're going to type your reason because you know it's a copy paste type of thing and you're just going to fill in the information on there that pertains to you okay so it'll say you know brackets put your reason here so your reason this is an example would be reports a balance of a thousand and you even list me as late on March 1st 2018 on your bureau dispute for that same account it's going to say capital one account number 517805 I don't owe a balance of a thousand and my bank statement shows I paid on time March 1st, 2018. I need for you to delete this account unless you can send me a bank statement and other transaction records proving otherwise. So do you see the difference between what the 623 template is going to say for a reason versus your bureau reason? Okay, so the next one is the VOD, validation of debt, okay? So on the left, you see the VOD template, and this can also be found, this is VOD template one out of the four series. You can find this online on my website at expertcreditsweeps.com forward slash VOD. The free letter is right there. Okay, so that VOD is going to go to the collection agency and your dispute with the bureaus, which is on the right, simply states, account is completely unknown. Where's the paperwork, the contract, the signature, the proof? Delete this unverifiable account immediately. As simple as that, okay? So, once again, validation of debt. So this is using the FDCPA, not the FCRA, but the FDCPA. So this is for any unknown collection. So this is third-party collections, utilities, cell phone, medical storage, apartment, et cetera, et cetera, excuse me. 
With debt buyer, you're looking at credit cards, loans, installments, vehicles, things like that, okay? So there is one thing that I wanna tell you, and I did do a video on this, and um, I'm coming out with another one tomorrow, but just be careful when you're disputing with these companies uh, if they're reporting within your state statutes of limitation. So just do your research. But having said that, Anytime you go to court, a company is going to need to produce a documentation during a lawsuit. So they can't just freaking take you to court and say, oh, this person owes, you know, $9 million to our organization. Um, no, they're going to have to prove it. So, I mean, if they're going to sue you, they're going to have to prove it anyways. All right. So um, the next one is a 1681 investigation. And this is the same stuff that you're going to find when you purchase bureau templates. Okay. So you know, we've already gone over the 623, the 609, and the VOD. Now, this is the uh, 1681. 1681 is simply a section that states that you have the right to an investigation of inaccurate information. So if you purchased a series of disputes to the bureaus, they probably look like this crap here over on the left, or it's pursuant to this, and Congress says that, just like those stupid section 609 disputes, where it's not saying anything and it's not giving you a reason for the dispute. On the other hand, you can look on the right, and it simply states, these accounts are unknown, or these accounts are inaccurate, these are the accounts I'm talking about, please delete them, all right? All right, companies, account types, and laws. So just to separate them so you know which one to use. 609 and VOD, those are for medical utility storage, apartments, collections, and debt buyer collections. The 623 is for credit cards, secured cards, unsecured credit, auto loans, personal loans, and other credit with the original creditor. So you're looking at collections versus original creditors. You guys need to keep them separate and you need to know what you're talking about. And to the bureaus, I didn't need to put the section on here because you hear me say it all the time, keep it unique, keep it short, you're a real person, you're just a regular old Joe or you're a regular old Jane and that's all you're looking to do is get this crap off your credit. So that's the end of it for tonight, but my upcoming events are going to be using the validation of debt method, that's tomorrow, and then um, what's tomorrow? Thursday. So Friday is going to be when to use the 609 method. And there's also a three day online workshop coming and I will have guest speakers and we're going to do activities together. Um, it's going to be live and uh, I'm really excited about it. I actually just came up with the idea today and I'm already in talks with the people that I want to do this with me and they're already on board. So I'm really, really excited about it. So if you would like a consultation, it's, it's super, super easy to schedule. You'll see the link down in the description and in this video, you can see how simple it is to schedule your appointment. So simply click on the link, schedule your appointment for a consultation if you'd like me to take over your credit suite. So that's it for tonight. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you tomorrow night.